Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to episode two of Craft Therapy. This is a new series here on my channel in which we get a little bit creative. These are going to be very laid back type of videos. We just get creative and create for joy's sake, for creativity's sake, um, without planning, without pressure, without goals, without any specific projects in mind. This is um, maybe to help you get your mojo back or maybe to feel like you are just crafting with friends. So grab something to drink. I have my tea here um, or a cozy blanket or a project that you would like to work on. And yeah, let's chat. Let's do something creative. So I am going to move this. And I honestly don't know what I want to do today, which is a new thing to me. This is one thing about these uh, craft therapy videos. Um, that's kind of <clears throat> the the most hmm, um, different from my usual videos where I have everything planned, well thought out. Uh, these I'm just going to come here and figure it out with you guys because, you know, sometimes I just don't have a new idea in mind. But I still want to make videos and I'm so happy that you guys are here for it, that you guys enjoyed, seem to really much enjoyed the first video, the first craft ther therapy. Um, I will have the playlist linked below so you can check it out. And um, yeah, I want to be able to film videos and chat with you and be here with you even if I don't have all the exciting new ideas and tutorials to share with you. Just, I also want to be creative and find joy in creating every day or most of the day. So these videos um, are definitely going to help me with that. So what I have here, oh, this is heavy. What I have here is this is kind of like a, kind of an idea. I have here my big box thing of uh, big scraps and my kids and uh, so these are scraps of my kids or some extras that I printed but what I'm interested in today is the big scraps part. Let me open it up. My big scraps are mostly here are, all of these are my kids. Uh, and my big scraps, where do they start? A lot of scraps from my kids. Uh, my big scraps are mostly uh, scrapbooking paper. And I have a lot, and I mean a lot of scraps of scrapbooking paper. And so today I thought I would just do something with them. Start making a dent in this stash. And so I had two thoughts. One would be to take those that I'm not particularly fond of and cover them up completely with collaging some uh, paper scraps on them and maybe then making them into journaling cards or pocket pockets. And the other one would be to pick those which I actually like. Uh, like I have some some Maggie Holmes ones. This one is gorgeous. And collage over them as well, but leaving a little bit of the original pattern peeking through. And I think I might go with this. I, I have been really in, so let me grab some of those. I have been really in like a Maggie Holmes mood. Um, I am so excited, you guys, because the other day I... Uh, I ordered, I finally uh, found some of Maggie Holmes's sticker books. I think she has two of those big books and some smaller ones too. So I finally found some um, here locally. They are really hard to come by. And also they were on clearance. So, and it was almost 50% off. So I pretty much paid um, 
for two of them what I would pay for for one of them um, normally and I also um, I also got oh, I love this one look at this with this sparkly polka dots I also got some other goodies so I don't remember I think I got some of her smaller uh, sticker books and maybe even a set of washi tapes you guys I love everything Maggie Holmes does but first of all her stuff is very hard to come by here in in Poland and secondly uh, ooh, these are nice stamperia scraps and secondly they are really pricey so I usually I, I usually don't get them I usually don't don't really have anything anything Maggie Holmes maybe these two as well I love them uh, but yeah they were everything was like at least 40% off so I thought well if not now then when <laughs> and uh, yeah and I, I got some goodies and I'm excited. I don't know when I will get them because I got them in an online shop in Spain. You guys, the, this shop is strange. It has like a Polish site, but the, the shop itself is, is located in Spain. And so it takes a little while for the package to be delivered, of course, to Poland. That's that's a long way this package has to has to go okay I think I will leave this big one here and just take these <clears throat> but uh, yeah I'm super happy I love stickers I love Maggie Holmes oh I know I got a paper pad that paper pad was so cheap in comparison to what they usually are and I think this is a newer one I, I think it was garden party so I I can't wait and I'm probably going to use it for my next personal junk journal because I just love it so much okay so we have a few of those now what I'm thinking is I actually want to take my paper cutter and cut them into smaller pieces kind of like journaling card size or pocket size and I think with those Maggie Holmes I'm going to leave the this is like a strip not sure if you can see it's perforated but when we glue some things over both of these I think it should be fine and also I just like how, how it looks so yeah so anyway how are you guys I hope you are well I am very good I have I, I'm feeling very tired today for some reason and I don't know why because I haven't done that much of anything really um, yesterday was a busy busy day I've done a lot of work yesterday but today was just like I had a slow morning here I think I will remove the strip so I had a slow morning and then I had my counseling session which was great and then, then I just spent spend the rest of the day doing some minor tasks and now I'm here crafting I think it's partly to do with uh, with the weather perhaps because uh, it is really, really, really dark outside. Uh, it's been very dark for the past two days, uh, to the point that we have to have lights on during the day, pretty much all the time now. So, and it's also very gloomy and very, 
wet. <laughs> uh, today snow is falling, but so, so the roofs are white-ish. Okay, I already have two of those, so maybe maybe let's stick with with these, and we will see how many we can get done. So what I'm going to take is my box of scraps neutral. I'm also going to maybe take this one as well. This is scraps color, so colorful, more colorful scraps and see if I can use some of those. But definitely I want to make a dent in this because as you can see this just uh, is overflowing with scraps. So, what was I saying? I think I was saying that the weather has really been not nice to us. <laughs> and um, And maybe this is partly responsible for, you know, for my, my lack of energy. I think so, at least. And... Um, is it too, dark, too, too light? I think it's too light because I have um, darker sleeves. Let me try to... Can I do anything about it? I hope it's going to look okay. So yesterday was super busy and productive. Um, I did a lot of computer work, a lot of computer work, which is not my favorite, but you know, sometimes it just has to be done. <laughs> so I think I've replied to 300 comments maybe uh, or close to that uh, I have been trying to catch up on on replying to to you guys you guys are amazing with commenting um, under my videos and liking them and I think I've said it many times before but commenting really does help me. It really helps YouTube to kind of see that you guys or people in general like my videos, that uh, they are good to um, recommend them. So really liking and commenting, even saying hi in the comments, really, really helps um, helps me grow my channel and yeah supports me so thank you so much to to everyone who who has been leaving comments there's been a lot of them i haven't caught up on all of them yet uh, my boyfriend actually um, he is a um, a developer it developer so he knows computers and um, and he knows code and stuff. So he actually developed or, you know, made me a, an app for my computer, uh, which helps me to reply to comments. Because I don't know if you guys know those of you who, who uh, have... YouTube channels, well, you obviously, <laughs> obviously know, but I don't know if, if it's like this for everyone, but for me, replying to comments is painfully slow when I'm using either the YouTube web page, so the one where you, where you would watch my videos. I don't want to cover this, this flower. Um, or the YouTube Studio, which is um, kind of a site for creators where you get your analytics and um, 
all the information that you may need regarding your videos so these two they just work incredibly slow on my computer i don't know how, um, i don't know why but they but they do and so okay maybe i will do this this way no this way so oh, i like this so he made me this app. I use it on my computer and the app uh, is for replying to comments and it makes it so much faster. It's just, it's so simple. Well, I don't think it was simple to make, at least not for me, it wouldn't be. But um, it's so just clean and easy to use and some scrub of letter paper and so he made me this app and i just love using it it makes like i said it makes replying to comments so much more pleasure ple ple pleasant <laughs> ple ple pleasant and uh, faster because i don't have to wait for youtube to process everything um but so the funny thing is well it wasn't funny so i was in the process of replying to all of these comments and i was you know i was going strong and when i finally finished i went to um like the youtube page the, the actual page of my channel to check if you know if everything posted correctly all of my comments from the app to to youtube and it turned out that some of those have not posted. Some of the, some of them, I, I kind of, I don't know, I don't understand it, but I think there is some limit of what you can do in YouTube kind of interface for developers and whatnot. And it seems that I have reached and past the limit when I was in my in my phase of replying to all of the comments and so it stopped it stopped replying so I was still writing my replies but I was not posting them on the website so some of the comments are still not answered and um, so yesterday he was trying to figure out why what happened and then I think he figured it out and uh, we need to try opening this up again and just uh, going like doing this uh, doing this again and um, I think he uh, he can fix it but so so some of the comments are still not uh, i still haven't answered to and um so if you've gotten a heart from me but no reply that means that probably i'm just going to to go back to you we didn't have time today to to look into it uh yet but but we definitely will because i can't now I can't do it without this app, so I tried using YouTube uh, Studio, and I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know if it's my computer, or um, or, or what it is, uh, that it works so slowly, and it just after uh, replying to comments for at least a year i think i've had this this app that he made um so comfortably and so quickly i just don't don't know how i can go back <laughs> um, so yeah i am definitely hoping that this can be fixed so yeah so yesterday i was replying to all of those comments i also did my accounting and here my boyfriend's help is again just i mean i would not be able to do 
all that I have to do uh, while running my my own creative business without him because he made me another app. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys, sorry, I don't know if you are even interested in this, but um, accounting in Poland when you have your own business is extreme, uh, oh, extremely difficult, extremely complicated. And so what I have to do every month is I have to um, create invoices for every single purchase that was made in my shop. So if you purchased something in my shop and you know, during a month, because I sell digital kits, these are like small amounts but people buy them often so um, I usually have hundreds of individual pur purchases and for each individual purchase I have to what's the word I don't know I have to fill in an invoice with your name and address and what you got and whatnot uh, for the kind of tax purposes and keep them for five years. Uh, so in the beginning, before I had my uh, digital items, I was doing all of this by hand. So I was actually typing, you know, you know your name, your address, what you got, uh, and making those invoices this way. And it was taking incredibly long. Okay, I think I am. Um, I think I'm going to start gluing things down now and inking around. So it was taking incredibly long. Uh, and so he developed me another app, which is an absolute lifesaver. And now I can kind of download all the orders from the past month. Um, I have to do it monthly. So all the orders from the past month um, to my computer. Uh, Etsy gives me this, this option. And um, this app just makes those invoices for me. So I think, well, this app is certainly the most important thing in my business. I, um, I could do without the, the comments app because, uh, well, you can still reply to comments um, in YouTube Studio and even on the YouTube web page, but not without this. I, I would just... I would not be able to do it without this particular app. So every month with my accounting, I have to make those invoices. And I also make one for Google, um, which is uh, Google AdSense, which is where I get um, paid from YouTube. And I also make one for Patreon. So basically every uh, income. And then I get to deduce costs of what I got during this month uh, for my business. So if I get any, and this is a fun part because I get to get um, amazing things like stickers and uh, paper pads uh, for my, and you know, they are for my work because I make journals for sale and things to sell. So I get to kind of did use this cost of what I of what I purchased. Why is this already coming up? Okay, I need to switch to wet glue for this one. Um, so yeah, I am kind of removing the cost of um, what I got um, from my overall income and then I pay taxes. <clears throat> um, I pay taxes, so a percentage of, of this final amount. So if I buy a lot um, and spend a lot on my business in a month, then I pay lower taxes, but then of course, um, you know, I, I pay all of it with my own money. So it's not like, it's not like I can just 
buy tons of things and and still have money to go on by but it's still nice to to be able to to um to have to pay a little less in taxes uh, because I got some some stickers <laughs> um, but yeah so I do it every month and I send all of the documents all of those invoices and everything to my accountant and again without him there is no way I would be able to do it. This is just too complicated. Uh, the rules are changing constantly, you guys. It's, oh my goodness. And sometimes uh, I've had, um, some time ago, I don't know, maybe six months ago, I had this email from my accountant uh, telling me about this new uh, rule that, uh, that was introduced in Poland for um, yeah for taxation and, and all that and he said that um, that he asks for patience uh, because even the accountants really don't know what to do with this new thing this new new rule so you know if even the accountants don't know then I'm definitely not going to know. So this is a little bit stressful. But at least you know I have him. Okay, I'm going to use double-sided tape for this vellum. I like to use it because it sticks it well and and you can barely see it. You can kind of see it on darker background here but it doesn't worry me so that was my day yesterday and I actually wanted to film this craft therapy video yesterday uh, so on Monday but I was just oh, from all this computer work I was just so tired and so in the evening I was just reading and uh, like this maybe and um, we are also watching um, Downton Abbey currently on Netflix and loving it absolutely loving it which I knew I'm, I was going to love it I love series like this um, but I'm kind of su surprised that Derek likes it so much uh, he likes after I think the first couple of episodes he was like Oh, this is kind of boring nothing's going on and I was like yeah that's true but I mean I love it I'm loving it so much even though nothing grand is going on um, but but then he he was just hooked <laughs> so now we are I think season three or four already uh, I think it has five seasons on Netflix and we are loving it and I'm loving the beautiful British English language and all of the accents because this if you are not familiar with this series it's about a family of British aristocrats I think we can call them um, and about so this is like two worlds so we have them uh, in this huge house called Downton Abbey and then there is um, their servants. So they have a butler, a lot, a lot of like footmen and uh, maids and cooks. And so we see their stories as well as the the noble family stories. Uh, and it's incredible. And so among the the servants, there are a lot of. Um, and people who who like speak with with different accent. I love English language so much, you guys. I wish it was my first language. I wish I could live in a country where it would be the language. And especially, I adore Irish and Scottish. Oh my goodness, there's such a music to Scottish accent for me. Uh, not that I understand that much of it, <laughs> what's being said, but I still love listening to it. And uh, Australian, mm, 
love Australian accent. So, so this this series is really great, and it shows so well. So this is happening in just between the first we start just be um, just before i mean first world war and then we are uh, during the war and um now the the, the war is over so um, it shows um, I, what i think is very interesting the social changes cultural changes after the war um the uh, women women's situation I think it's super interesting and um, yeah, I just, I really enjoy it. <clears throat> so what are you guys watching uh, or uh, either on Netflix? So we have Netflix and HBO Go. So if you guys have any recommendations for either a series or movies, then please leave them in the comments. Tell me what, what you are currently watching and loving. I'm loving Downton Abbey. Um, we've also watched, um, but this was just like nine episodes, this um, series uh, Arcane. So this is like an animated series, definitely not for kids though. <laughs> and definitely an adult thing. So kind of like a fantasy world very steampunk, very dystopian, very beautifully done, the, the animations of the characters and interesting characters too, so I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I don't know what we are going to <clears throat> watch when we are done with Downton Abbey. I don't want to be done. <laughs> This is so relaxing, you guys. This is, I think this craft therapy, I'm so happy that so many of you guys said that it's what you needed and it's what you love and you are really here for it. And um, I can tell you from my side that I think it's definitely going to help me to kind of relax about filming, to film more often and to to find the joy of creating because i am not working right now you know even though youtube and creativity is my work right now at this moment i don't feel like i'm working and this is so precious to me i feel like i'm having fun and having a creative time and having a chat with friends and this is just awesome Okay, is my tea cool enough to drink? I think so. I have this cute <clears throat> mug, which is not sure if I can show you guys, but it's all florals. And it says, live life in full bloom. And it's also a funny shape, like, like a flower pot, <laughs> I think. Okay, how how did I put those pieces before? Oh, I think this one was kind of horizontal. No. Or was it? How about this? I think I like this. <clears throat> This one goes there. And this one I'm going to use wet glue. 
because it just doesn't want to stay down when I use just glue stick. Okay, so I don't know what I want to do with these yet. If I'm going to use them as pockets or journaling cards, <coughs> I don't know. But I kind of... I think you can use those interchangeably. So you have the front, like we are going to collage, <clears throat> add probably some focal point to the to, to the front, and then if you want to make it into a journaling card, you will just uh, maybe add some tea stain paper on the other side, uh, or just leave it blank. And if you want to make it a pocket, then you don't have to do anything. You just glue it to your page. So I think it's good to have a stash of those to use them for what you need at the moment. This is um, so these pages are from a <clears throat> really old uh, Polish encyclopedia, and I really like those little images on the margins. This video <clears throat> is going to go up tomorrow, so on Wednesday. It's quite late today. I think it's maybe, well, it's not late, late. I think it's maybe 5 or 6 p.m. But I've noticed that um, for me, um, uploading and um, just publishing videos on YouTube um, in the evening it just doesn't work because first it takes loads of time to upload and process so it can take a few hours and then uh, I often get errors so I have to start again I think it's probably just a very busy time for YouTube maybe a lot of people are uh, are uploading their videos at this hour so I prefer to do it um, maybe around midday so that's what I'm going to do with this one I'm going to film it and I'm going to upload it tomorrow so that uh, tomorrow afternoon my time uh, it's it should be up hopefully fingers crossed because I had this issue with a patron um, Patreon video a few days ago when it was a really long long one so over over an hour I think over over half an hour long and first I was like filming it for three days because um, we were stitching signatures for a huge journal and then I was uh, showing my patrons how I make my charms on, on my journals. So it took a long time to film. Then um, when I went to upload it, it was uploading for like, oh you guys, uh, I think three hours and then at the end of it all I got an error message that it did not process correctly and that I had to start again and that oh so I was so disappointed because I really wanted to share this video with them that day and I had to wait till the next morning to upload it and it was again uploading and processing for like two hours but at least this time and it it was a success no errors so it happens sometimes especially with those longer videos that's and 
well I make mostly long videos that's why I try to um, upload them in the morning rather than oh I think I have this oh no I think it it looks nice here and then maybe this one here I don't know what I'm going to use for focal points here because I really don't have that many fussy cut flowers. I need to do a fussy cutting session so maybe one of these days I will just have a nice few hours with YouTube and just go ahead and fussy cut loads loads of flowers. But for now, I don't think I have that many left. Oh, and I have this. Okay, that's nice. Maybe here? Why not? Um, so we will see. But I think I want to do a little bit more work on those backgrounds before we get to that. Okay, let's see what we have. I'm trying to fit it all in the camera so you guys can can see as well. So we have those. I really like them. Now I'm thinking they need some labels. So let me grab my ephemera folio, ephemera holder. And let's see, do I have some, oh yeah, I do, <laughs> I was going to ask, do I have some larger Tracy Fox labels, and I mean, I have mostly Tracy Fox labels, <laughs> so how do I do it, I think I'm just going to pull out a few with those neutral colors, Okay, let me like grab more and then we we will try to work work it out how we want it some of these and we will see because I have her tiny labels well well um, I have her labels which I print tiny uh, somewhere else so I think I want I want them to to overhang slightly kind of like this the circle one do we want the circle I think it's going to work <clears throat> maybe like this And this one, perhaps here, the field note, field notes one, and maybe this one. So as always, I'm either trying to create a triangle with them or a diagonal line. This one here. Oh, I now have um, a song stuck in my head, which is from this Arcane series that I that I told you about, uh, and this is performed by Imagine Dragons, which is my my favorite band, I think, <laughs> and uh, my favorite. Well, let's let's say my favorite modern band because I have some some favorites that are no longer playing I guess uh, which would be Pink Floyd and um, and Dire Straits who love Dire Straits and Mark Knopfler or Rolling Stones 
but when it comes to more modern music okay i think i'm i'm satisfied with this uh, when it comes to more modern music that's definitely uh, imagine dragons for me i love so many of their songs and lyrics and and melodies and so this the song that they created for this show what, what is it called enemy maybe uh, because they the the lyrics go somehow um you know everybody wants to be my enemy something something well i have the melody stuck in my head i haven't heard it enough times for me to remember the lyrics yet and also with english being my second language i often find it hard to uh, to actually understand the lyrics in songs um to like he the words that they are singing and um, so I often google the the lyrics and then when I google it and when I know what they are singing I I totally hear it <laughs> it's just my brain needs to see it on you know black and white um, before it can process it when it's sung I think <clears throat> it would be my absolute dream to go to so I was on a concert I love concerts and I was uh, from these um, favorite bands of mine <laughs> I was on Mark Knopfler's concert here in Krakow and um, I was so angry with um, myself or at myself because I um, I was um, like I didn't want to pay too much for the ticket so and and the the person that I went with didn't want to pay too much so we had places um up the top of this kind of arena where the concert was and we couldn't see a thing and I definitely could not see Mark Knopfler <laughs> so and then I went to Scorpions um the Scorpions concert and uh, they're not my favorite but but I really wanted to to see them and um, it was in the same venue but I paid a little bit more for the tickets and I could see them so close to me and it was it was awesome I think it's worth it there are some things for me worth spending money on and these things such as concerts for instance if if you like music and like this type of experience i think is just making amazing memories because i can remember the scorpions uh, concert so much better than the dire straits even though i love dire straits so much more so uh yeah, but it would be my absolute dream to go to David Gilmour's concert. He is the, uh, or was, I suppose, the lead guitar and uh, singer for uh, Pink Floyd. And Pink Floyd, I believe they had some kind of reunion some time ago but I don't think they are playing together anymore and then David Gilmore had um, a solo album or two and I loved it and there was also a his concert years and years ago I think it was 2006 in Gdańsk in Poland and I had it on DVD my dad got it for me on DVD and I watched it like a thousand times because it was so beautiful you guys it was the whole experience with light and music and sound and all the different instruments and he's a master of guitar he's a very 
He's a very characteristic sound of his guitar playing. <laughs> um, so I would love to see him live, but well, sadly I, I wasn't able to yet. Maybe someday. I think if right now I'm I'm kind of I have a car and all that and right now I think if he was um playing in some nearby country <laughs> like I don't know Germany for instance or someone where I can go by car or fly easily then I would still go and I think it would be unforgettable. <laughs> Okay, now let me cut the overhanging bits. Of course, there's not that many concerts nowadays, isn't there? Um, but hopefully things will get back to normal someday. And we'll still be able to enjoy what we love. Okay, now I think I want a little bit more double-sided tape here. Now I'm thinking, do I want to think about this focal point or am I going to procrastinate? <laughs> from this decision and add some more layers here because I also have some small ephemera pieces where are they? here sorry sorry for reaching you guys <clears throat> and oh I also have my Tim Holtz ephemera here. How about that? How about I use some of those as my focal points? Would they work? Maybe. So let me grab some of the, the larger ones, the florals especially. The florals. Have some nice butterflies too. Well, I don't like butterflies in real life, but I guess some journaling cards I can I can add them. So maybe this will actually be easier for me to find my focal points here. Okay, so I've taken some of the larger pieces and let's see I think I'm going to just do it one by one so you guys can see everything take a sip here okay let's see let's see <clears throat> about that could be <clears throat> what else we have a flower like this <clears throat> I just don't know if it's standing out enough maybe this one and I could add a little a bit of washi tape or a little bow here. And this I think is too small. I don't know, I quite like this. I quite like this. So it could be this. <clears throat> this is nice, kind of like a corner piece. Now which corner do I want to cover? <clears throat> it 
these butterflies are a little bit too big for me to be totally comfort uh, comfortable with them but let's try them anyway okay i like this and this one, there's a lot going on here already. Well, this, this would be strange, a strange pop of color. How about a butterfly? Maybe a small one. Oh, I think I love it. Okay, so that was fun. Now, because we have so much going on in the background, I am actually wondering, maybe I want to make... Maybe I want to add <clears throat> a little bit of gesso. I've been really liking doing that lately. Kind of at the edges of where I want to put my, my focal points. To soften those, those backgrounds a bit. Add a bit of mixed media messiness look. Not everywhere, not like all over or not all around the image, but just a little bit <clears throat> enough to make it pop. Mm -hmm. I think, I think so. There is a lot going on <clears throat> on those backgrounds, so it's a really nice, nice way to calm everything down. <clears throat> and I'd want this small guy here. And something like that. some here um, I'm not using much um, so the layer that I'm putting the layer of gesso is rather thin and that's why it's going to dry very quick and by the time I'm done here with the last one the first one is going to be to be all dry I think <clears throat> and this one how about I add a little bit here and maybe down down here it also makes the uh, kind of borders between <clears throat> elements on the card uh, a little softer so uh, makes them in in my eyes at least makes them go together a little bit more smoothly
Now I'm thinking <clears throat> for this last card, this one here. I think I'm going to have to change this huge butterfly to something else. I am. Um, I really want to um, challenge myself <clears throat> to use some other things than just flowers. <laughs> Uh, to use more maybe birds and butterflies as my focal point but oh this big one is just scaring me <laughs> so how about i leave this small one because it looks nicely with the colors but maybe go back to to the flowers and pop a flower there to just kind of make it more friendly <laughs> friendly for for myself this is pretty but maybe a little bit <clears throat> too small. I don't know if it wouldn't. Which way does this go? This way, I think. <clears throat> Could be like this. Hmm, how about the, a tall one like that? Yeah. I like this one most. I will try to brave this huge butterfly another day. Now for these, I'm going to use wet glue, I think, well definitely, oops, excuse me, that was an awful sound, <clears throat> definitely not glue stick, because these are very thick, <coughs> I'm sorry you guys, I think I've talked too much, <laughs> I was so tired just before I started filming that I was you know, I thought it would be a quiet kind of video, but I do think I've chatted a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you do. Oh, you did. Or do still. The video is still going on. Okay. This one. this piece in the corner here <clears throat> This one is nice and tall, could be a nice <clears throat> tag as well, journaling tag, or a nice tall pocket for a tag. <laughs> I hope we get some sun 
these next few days but I doubt it to be honest looking at the forecast oh I still need to cut this and uh, looking at the forecast we <clears throat> we are going to have a gloomy week but the good thing is that I think this weather is just perfect for crafting <laughs> so I hope to maybe finish uh, my fairy journals and share them with you guys the six fairy journals that I'm currently working on and um, <clears throat> maybe do some journaling uh, and maybe film some more videos <clears throat> okay This one. I really like this Tim Holtz ephemera, but I just wish it was maybe printed, maybe you know, not not so thick cardstock, not on a cardstock this thick, and um, yeah, because it can. It can um, bulk your journals or projects up a lot, I think. Okay. And the last one. Now I do think that we are missing something here and you guys know what it is. It's a little bit of gold. <laughs> it's a little bit of gold. So I am maybe I am definitely going to be adding something gold to these. Probably the edges as per usual, but also maybe my um Uh, maybe my gold leaf trim okay <clears throat> it's right here or I can always grab it how about how many of these I have I have six here how about I cut six pieces of it and just add them somewhere Maybe one longer, one a bit shorter, three, four, five, and six. And let's just not overthink it, but just glue them where we like them. Okay. She said not overthink it and and that's what she's doing, isn't it? Okay, I'm thinking this one here. And these leaves are bent a little bit, so I just have to straighten them. And I'm going to use my wet glue to glue them down. It works really well with them. Okay. Oh yeah. This is what what's been missing here. Oh yes. Definitely missed a little bit of sparkle. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second one, how about here? Yes. So that was quick and easy. <laughs> have some threads here. Uh -huh. 
good I like it next one maybe down the bottom yeah I think so Oh, the song is really stuck in my head. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video that these craft therapy videos might be slightly longer. Well, I usually do about an hour, but I'm not sure. I think this one might be over an hour, so I hope you guys enjoy it. You can always, you know, um, play it in parts a little bit today. A little work. Excuse me. <laughs> Glue in my mouth. Uh, a little bit tomorrow. Then we have these two. Let's see what we could do. I'm thinking up, up top. here for some reason I like it here on the side okay oops please don't move Then I'm going to take my gold paste and the color Ducat Gold, I think, or hmm. how about this? Maybe it's closer. Maybe this one. So this is rich gold, and uh, this is just a gold paste. I'm using a Kirsch. Oh, using a Polish brand but <clears throat> as I always say any brand will do any gold paste gilding paste gilding wax uh, even gold um, even gold what's it called a uh, texture paste gold texture paste will be great too I have to look online for the color pure gold which is the one I was using before because it was my favorite and this shop didn't have it so I got two other colors but none of them I love as much as this this previous one so I will buy probably a few tubes when I find it and uh, this is from brand Renaissance uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's a Polish one, but I I used one from Pent Art as well from Daily Art. I think is the one that I have. And just a little bit of left. So really, any I think Prima has some waxes, but you don't have to go with Prima. They are a bit expensive. Great quality, I believe, but, but pretty expensive, so this one is definitely not expensive. Mm -hmm. Will I ever be able to make a project without any gold 
ever again? <laughs> that's a question. That's that's a question. So far, I'm not bothered. I love it. It makes me happy. And especially in those craft therapy videos, I'm just going to do things that make me happy. And so should you, you guys. If you have your favorite supplies or techniques, do them. Do them, make them, use them, work with them during those craft therapy videos because I believe it's working with things that you love and that make you smile and that make you happy that is a way to go when you want to craft just for fun without pressure of any sort and um, to just have fun to just spend some joyful time doing what you love so that's what i am going to do just doing things that I love not thinking about projects and, and anything really other than just having fun creating okay so I think these are pretty much done do I want to add anything else to them I think one last thing you guys this is why everything takes me such a long time <laughs> um, it's because I can't stop so I think I want to add little clusters of gold embellishments on my card so I have here some gold glitter things some I cut using um, punches and gold gl glitter paper. Some I uh, some are sequins. Some are conf confetti pieces. And I think I just want to kind of maybe add add a little bit more shine somewhere on those cards maybe a sequin on this one and then tiny stars so those tiny stars I love I've been using them for years I have got them um, in just a craft store in like a party organizing a party section and uh, yeah they were meant as confetti I also have tiny hearts which I also love uh, and there are so many of them in a packet so I'm not going to run off uh, run out of them uh, anytime soon I suppose now doing it with your fingers is probably not the easiest way because they are so tiny um, but I'm also not I just don't want to bother with um, tweezers or nah I don't think so okay here's a gold glitter star for a change and maybe a little heart no I have picked just stars stars it is I think stars and hearts are those kind of shapes that are very neutral at least for me that's what I feel um, in a sense that you can use them uh, in any project and they are going to look nice and um, they are not themed really a little heart and star and this last one oh my battery is flashing 
Hello everyone, it's actually the next morning. So last night my battery died, so I decided since we were pretty much done with our project, I would film this outro um, today morning when my battery is all charged. Uh, so the only thing that I did off camera, I think, is I added some gold splashes. And let me show you the finished project. So we have finished six journaling cards slash pockets slash tags slash anything we need them to be and I really like how they turned out. I really like how this Maggie Holmes paper still peeks through uh, through them and oh, this one is warped a little bit and I really had so much fun uh, just crafting with with you all so thank you for being with me thank you for crafting with me for spending your time with me and um, I hope to see you very very soon in the next video bye guys